Now we'll be looking at the next type of co coordinating conjunctions that we have and they are called adversative conjunctions. Now what exactly are adversative conjunctions? Whenever we want to show that one statement is in contrast to another statement in a sentence or when we want to show contrasting ideas in a sentence then we use adversative conjunctions in order to connect them together and examples of these sorts of conjunctions include but and yet so remember we saw the fanboys coordinating conjunctions out of those but and yet falls under adversative conjunctions let's take a look at how we can use but in sentences as an adversative conjunction. Number one, it joins two contrasting ideas which we've already seen. So as long as you have one part of the statement saying one thing, which is opposing or in contrast to another statement, we know that it is acting as an adversative conjunction. Let's take a look at how we use it. So number one, we use it when contrast is unexpected. So this means that whatever is in the next part of the statement is surprising according to the first part of the statement. Let's look at an example. He is poor but he is happy. So in this statement you can clearly see that even though he is poor it is unexpected that he is happy. So if they're poor, we would expect them to be unhappy, but here it is in contrast or it is unexpected that he is happy. Therefore, we have been able to use the word but. Now next, when we want to affirm the first part of the sentence in a negative way. This is sounding a little confusing. Let's look at an example to understand this better. They never spent foolishly, right? But they went on lavish holidays. So in this case, we are saying that they never spent foolishly, but the contrasting idea is that they went on lavish holidays. So here we have two ideas which are not making sense together that they didn't spend foolishly but the second statement is saying that yes they did not spend foolishly but it's stating it in a negative way that they had done something which is in contrast to what was expected therefore we used the coordinating conjunction but now let's see how we use it otherwise to connect ideas meaning with the exception of but is also used to show exception so if I use a sentence like this, all but Jane went to Goa. So here I'm using the word but to show that everyone went except for or with the exception of Jane. And here I'm using it as a adversative conjunction because I am showing contrast. So the contrast is that Jane did not go and everybody else went. Now the other adversative conjunction that you have is yet. Yet can be used very similarly to but. However, they cannot be used in exactly the same way. Now the reason is that yet means though, still, nevertheless. So the contrast here is a little less similar to the use of but. Let's take an example of a sentence. Let's say Dave plays football yet and but he loves soccer. So here if I use the sen I, if I use the word but as the conjunction here, then it will be Dave plays football but he loves soccer. So I'm directly stating that there is a contrast. He plays football but he loves something else which is soccer but if I use the word yet then it is showing me something slightly different from but let's read out the sentence to understand Dave plays football yet he loves soccer but still he loves soccer nevertheless even though something is being done by him he loves something else 
So this is showing me contrast just like but however the meaning is closer to using still or nevertheless or though which is slightly less strong in contrast to the word but. So here we have taken a look at how we show contrasting statements in a sentence using adversative conjunctions. Next we move on to another type of coordinating conjunction.